Hello everyone, my name's Bottletop Hornet, and welcome back to another episode of Vault Hunters. <laughs> God, it feels good to have this place all organized like this from the last episode. And as you can see, I've added a little bit down here to start using our gifter statues. So I've made a bunch of diamond barrels, got them starting to put their items away in there so that we can store them away up here later and, uh, and put these in for some more soup. <laughs> I actually moved these netherite barrels up just a little bit so that I had the headroom. And just so you know, in this mod pack, you can move barrels with pistons while there's inventory inside them, which is so convenient. So I just put some pistons underneath there and popped them up. Yeah. Still got a couple here that uh, we'll put on once some of these have disappeared. And I'm actually recording this a little bit earlier than I intended to, so I haven't switched that over to a Patreon supporter just yet. But at the time of filming this, they should have already got the notification that there's a post. But in today's episode, I want to get more of these. And with a bit of luck, some fortune ones. So as you can see, I have prepared myself with a bunch of Eye of Enders, some bottles of enchanting to heal our Elytra if we need it, and prepped myself, other than maybe a little bit of food, for going out and about searching for some more strongholds. The easiest way that I know of to find those is to explore the stronghold libraries. So we're going to do that. And I think the easiest way for me to work it out is I have to go find where my first stronghold was. Because I lost all of my waypoints, I don't actually know where it is in the overworld. But once I do, we can sort of triangulate its position and work out where the other ones would be. Or roughly work out where the other ones would be. So my mess of a nether will come through here and we'll actually go to the stronghold itself, mark its position on the map, and then we can just teleport back to our bed. Okay, so we're going to mark this spot and call it Stronghold 1. That's good. That's going to allow us to get a decent idea of where the other ones are. Now, usually they form in a triangle about a similar distance away from your spawn, which I think my spawn was up around here, so it may be slightly further, but somewhere in this sort of circle, if you can see my mouse going around like that. So we're gonna go back here and I'm just gonna head probably over to that original village that we found, throw an eye, and as long as it doesn't point back towards my home, if it points one way or the other, we know we're on the right track. So pop through here, go through our portal, and we'll be back home. Lovely. Let's see how we go. Wait, <laughs> before I do that, it would probably be smart to bring some extra storage. Because if we go exploring a fair bit, at least even just these two, I'm going to want to be able to put some stuff away. So, that's better. Alright, now we can go. So, just before the sun sets, let's see... A bit of lag, but over that direction. Perfect. Drop down here and looking at our map, we're heading over that way somewhere. So, slept through the night. Let's see what we find. I'm going to assume that it's probably a fair bit further out than equal distance from my home because the spawn point is actually a little bit higher. So I'm going to go out mm, another four or five hundred blocks and see whether we, uh, we get another hit close by. Somewhere like... This will do. Oh, no. Okay. Can I catch it? Yeah. <laughs> so, if that was such a drastic change, it's actually probably kind of near here. That direction. Interesting. Ah, okay. Let's see whether it is somewhere here. Oh, backwards. Okay. We're directly above it. Somewhere here. Ish. Yes. <laughs> so... I'm just going to uh, actually go into this little area and I can already see it on the map down that way. I should have brought something to uh, see a little bit better. Do I have a light source in here? A blaze rod will do. Yeah, dynamic lighting. <laughs> okay. In fact, we'll put that in our offhand. So let's see if we can get across there into that library. Snake our way around. And probably just going to have to dig. Now, up or down? I'm going to say down. There we go. Now, straight into it. Let's see. Oh, that's good. 
Punch, Punch, Unbreaking is nice, and Riptide. Okay, interesting. It's nice to see that we have two in this stronghold, so we do have more chance of getting what we need. Just got to find that there. And Sharpness and Fire Aspect. Nothing that crazy, but that's okay. Oh, bit of lag. We'll move on to this next one. Uh, hey, there's a portal room too. Oh. At least it's not the same as the ones... Oh, that was a lot quicker than I expected. It's not the same as the ones in the, uh, the vault itself, so that's good. I'm going to mark this one here as Stronghold... Oh, Stronghold 2. Beautiful. Let's check out... Oh, we can get there from this side. Pun Fortune! Perfect. Oh, interesting. Okay, that's great. We've got one already. And that technically should be enough to get us up to the level that I would like to. But if we can find a second one, just for the safety of it, that would be nice. Oh, I've already gone to that one. Uh, no. <laughs> That's okay, though. We lucked out by getting that one. I'm just going to put all of this junk away. And yes, okay. This is going better than I expected. Now, it's still worth going around and checking places like that, because we can get the Mana Steel and a couple of other things that are from different mods. But I'm not going to bother exploring this too much. I'm more interested in just seeing if there's a couple of surface level stuff ready to go. If not, We'll make our way on to the next stronghold. Oh, this intersects with a uh, a mine shaft. Nice. Let's uh, let's head on out, if we can, and go find the next stronghold. Stronghold number three. How do I get out of here? Huh? You know what? I think our best bet is to actually just go through the end again. That'll take us back to probably our spawn point because I slept in that village and then destroyed the bed. So it's going to let us know where our spawn point is, which is nice. And then we can go from there, saving 1,300 blocks or something along those lines. So we'll head up this way and... Wait, I destroyed that bed. <laughs> but putting it back down allowed the respawn point to get there? Interesting. I'm just going to break that and do that. <laughs> it's okay though, that does still bring us back a lot closer. So, we'll head this way, because now that we have these two sort of reference points, we know that the third one's going to be around-ish here. So, I'm just going to head that way, and not even bother throwing a eye until we're a lot closer to where I believe it should be. Ooh, they're nice trees. This seems like a decent spot to stop. Ooh, I really like that. That's a really interesting material. Huh. Well, we're about close to that point. I'm expecting it to be somewhere up around here, just a little bit further. Not far off the truth. Catch it. Yeah. Let's have a look at this real quick. Podzel Dacite or Dacite. Very interesting. I like that. I'm going to keep that in mind for later. It's also got a grass variety. Overgrown Dacite. Very nice. That's a pretty block. And I assume that it would probably spread as well. Okay, we're getting distracted. <laughs> but good to know for the future. So I am going to head to about the little river over here. And we'll check once again. About here. Still a little bit further. Cool. Good to know. How about here? Okay. But... You can see that we're close and we're starting to get an idea of that triangle that it spawns in, which means that our spawn point is probably somewhere in there. And that actually does make sense because I remember spawning and seeing these two right nearby. So our spawn point is somewhere just in there. All right, one last little hop and we should just about over top of it. Come on. Right out just on the edge of the ocean, maybe? Interesting. As long as this hasn't glitched and uh, is sending us a little bit further away, this could be an ocean one. Now, I don't have to worry about water breathing, so I'm just going to stay underwater and look down at the bottom of the ocean to see whether we find it. God, that looks cool. It's starting to reach the point where I feel like it's too far past, but you never know. One more of those still pointing in that direction. We'll just trust it. In fact, 
If I know that I spawned here, mm, I think this is pointing us past where it should be. So if we don't find it by the time we get to the shore, I think I'm going to trust my gut and go back. Still pointing off that direction. Very interesting. Damn, that's a big mountain. Okay, still pointing off that way. I don't trust this at all. Caught it. So my assumption is that that is leading to the next outer ring of strongholds. And I am going to trust my gut and my knowledge of the game that if that is our spawn point just there, that one's over there and that one's over there, the third one should be about where I originally assumed near this. So I'm going to fly back there. We're going to get underground and see whether the mini map shows us what we're looking for. And before we get blown up by a creeper, let's quickly try and find our way down <laughs> into the the deep dark of these caves. I do wonder whether it maybe was destroyed by a piece of generation, but oh, I don't have to worry so much about getting damaged down here. I'm thinking that maybe it's a little bit more that way. Ah. Perfect. Keeping an eye out on the mini-map. We're pretty low, so I might jump back up here. And try and take one of these offshoots. Oof. <laughs> and uh, see if we can find our way back. Find our way forward, I suppose. Let me get a good temporary waypoint here so that I can think about this. Somewhere about there? I'm going to dig this way. I'm just going to dig through the earth and trust my instincts. This is actually just another abandoned mine shaft, but could they be spawned together? Wait. <laughs> hmm. Am I slightly off here? If that's that way, that's that way. I'm tilting my head right now. Is it more here? Maybe. Let's try somewhere over in this lake. We're actually back under here now, so I'm gonna go upwards because I don't really see it on my map and I feel like if it was in this line, it would be nearby here. This could potentially pour water all over us. Yep. <laughs> well, flooding that cave. So let's try that. Let's just assume that instead it's somewhere up around there. All right. Let's see if we can find a way down from here. I've just got a little bit of the underground to show and it doesn't look like anything, ooh, anything directly under there. Maybe we'll go a little bit further, see if there's a surface cave over this way. I'm starting to doubt whether or not this one generated. There's always that unknown about the fact that we have some modded terrain. Can't see anything on the minimap there either. Do we just uh, cut our losses and go for that further out one? Maybe. We do already have a fortune. I would like one more chance though. Oop. <laughs> okay. Ooh, what is that? I think this might be one of those, uh, oh yes, those Aztec style jungle villages. I love these so much. This is something that I wish they added to vanilla style jungles. A jungle village like this with the jungle villagers that they already have the skins for. I feel like this would be amazing. So beautiful. Anyway, let's just go out the direction that we were getting pointed to last time, which was somewhere over near those mountains there, because it'll probably be quicker to just follow <laughs> the higher vendor itself instead of searching underground manually without any bearing. So, ooh, I like this biome. Yeah, nice. And we were apparently right there, just about on it. Maybe I was just miscalculating. Definitely a possibility. The triangle could be a little bit skewed, but I don't think that's far enough for the next ring. I'm going to stop thinking about it and we're just going to go. I'd say somewhere about here. Give me a cave. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Digging down it is. There we go. Starting to see some stuff on the map. Let's drop out into this little area down here. Avoid dying to any of these baddies. And I see it on the map. Perfect. Let me through. Is that up or down? Oh, I 
forgot that I had fire resistance. It's down. <laughs> Let's go check out the libraries in here. This one looks scuffed, but it could just be that it's only loading part way through. I'm going to pop over there anyway and just have a quick look. But yeah, we are down pretty low. Did it get scuffed by the, uh, the stuff here? Or is it even lower? It could be even lower. Where did I put my light source? <laughs> it is low. Interesting. So, hopefully, oh my goodness, it is scuffed. There is carnage. It looks like all of it is burnt. Oh, that's hilarious. But hey, we've still got this left and a lot of corundum. Nice. <laughs> Another fortune. Okay. I guess we consider this a success regardless. I'm going to see if I can get up there and impaling. Interesting. Let's put a few things in here just temporarily. Load that up and load it up with all of the junk. There we go. That's a little bit more organized. And that's two fortune ancient tomes. We'll go check the other library that's in this stronghold. Mark the third stronghold in the world and then we'll go home. I'm actually blown away by how low this goes. We're basically a bedrock here. A nice little way to get in there. Ooh. Feather falling, punch, lock of the sea, bane of arthropods, and unbreaking. The unbreaking one's nice. We could definitely use those in the future for something that we wanted to keep alive for a long time. Head over to the other side of here. And smite. Smite's good. Knockback, all of that jazz. Cool. I'll put those away with the rest. And let's go back to that portal. Hmm, may as well take those. I would say, with a little bit of mucking around, it was still quite a successful trip. I got the fortune tomes that I really wanted, which is amazing. And now we can go make ourselves a perfect pickaxe. Ah, there we go. This is more like it. I'm going to mark this spot here as spawn. Let's head home. Oh, I love how that's looking in the night. Except for that. <laughs> we need to get ourselves a mega torch. Okay, so we can put some stuff away. I'll do a little bit of sorting. And then much like two episodes ago, where we made the sword nice and powerful, this one here, with the sweeping edge four and smite six and all of that good stuff. In fact, that's getting quite low. I need more plating for, uh, for fixing that up. Oh, I did get some in the, the last few. Good to know. But we're going to overpower a pickaxe. I think I'm going to make a fresh one or combine some so that we have the fortune three on it and all of that jazz. So give me a second to organize everything that I need and we'll go about setting it up. Then we can try all this stuff. Oh, I'm excited. I'm very excited. And these. Ah, yes. All right, let's get started. First thing I'm going to need is to use up a bunch of my experience bottles. I still haven't made myself an experience farm because I haven't needed it just yet. The combination of using villagers and also the amount of these that I get is just fine. So I'm going to spam these, get myself up to the levels, and we're just going to see whether we can get a roll on one of these first and foremost. The less I have to spend <laughs> combining all of these, the better. Okay, so put that in there. Efficiency four. Hey, it got unbreaking. Not too shabby. And you know what? I'm just going to combine those two. Okay. So we're going to put efficiency five on this. And that is essentially our base for the pickaxe. I'm going to get myself a second pickaxe. I have so many diamonds. It doesn't even matter. Like so. And yeah, we may as well roll this one as well. <laughs> All right. Perfect. I just realized I don't need a second pickaxe, I don't think. But, yeah, well, whatever. We'll put that one aside for now. So, to start off with, I'm going to raise the level of these using the Unbreaking book. So to do so, I'm going to take the Unbreaking, and I'm going to turn this into an Unbreaking 4 book, which I need 30 levels for. So Unbreaking on an unbreaking makes us an ancient enchanted book. With that, 
I can add efficiency five, which I need more levels for, like so. And then fortune, like so. The combination of those applied to this will give us fortune four, efficiency six, and unbreaking four. So I need, you guessed it, more levels. <sighs> that went through a few bottles of enchanting. But combine those, and we're halfway there. Now I don't think with this I would be able to get anything but the fortune up to another level unless I happen to have another unbreaking. So I'm not going to bother with that. This one, we're just going to get the fortune like this, which is going to cost another 30 levels and then combine it with this one to get fortune five, which is likely going to cost me a lot of extra levels. So give me a minute. I'm probably going to go through my entire stores of this. Here, swoop. And we'll see whether we can get this fortune pick up and running. Fortune three book turns into a fortune four book. Then that for 40 levels will combine to get us fortune five. Oh yeah. And we may as well add mending to this as well. Cost two. <sighs> Why not? Still cost 40. Perfect. Oh, it won't add mending. Maybe we should make sure we get mending on that first and foremost. Perfect. Mending two. <laughs> 40 levels. Let's see whether we have enough. Ah, <sighs> my hands cramping. <laughs> but yeah. I like that we have Mending 2 on it, because that's just so ridiculous. And we still have so many bottles left over. Perfect. Fortune 5, baby. Oh my god. I am going to straight away convert that to a Netherite pickaxe. Oh, I forgot. I turned this into a little doctor's office. <laughs> sort of. I figured for the potion making, I would have a couple of things up here. Oh, actually, we have Fortune on this. Yeah, nice. And so I have this little area here with my brewing ready to go. Some extra potions that I picked up from inside of the uh, the vaults themselves. And yeah, this guy here is my original cleric. It's nothing fancy, but it will get the job done. Uh, but I now realize that I don't have my villagers up here. Completely forgot about that. I need this smithing table. Oh yes. So, it is night time. Let's get some sleep. And then, let's set up some massive piles of ore and fortune them up. This is the fun part. Okay. Give me a second. Now, we are just outside of our area here. And I'm going to set up some massive piles. I know that I can get higher fortune levels down the line but it feels like a really satisfying and fun way to get started with this pack. Well, get started is a, a funny way of saying it, but to move myself forward from the more early game to help us get towards that level 50 where we're starting to get some better drops. Plus, I mean, it's just, it's just gonna be so satisfying. So <laughs> why not? Okay, next, the Beniatite. Nice. Painite can go in a slightly smaller tower. Wutadai. The Alexandrite will do as a slightly flatter one. <laughs> At this point, I'm kind of thinking I'm going to set this up for my thumbnail. So if you saw the thumbnail and you clicked on it and you made it this far, hi, I'm preparing for my thumbnail. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, kind of inception stuff, things. Yeah, never mind. And a little bit of black opal. This is really starting to get quite ridiculous. And now for the fun part. Escalium. Upaline. Upaline? Upaline. <laughs> a little bit of Gorgonite. Some Bombignite. Some Ashium. Can't forget Tubium. Some Funzoid. Sparkle Teen. And our lone piece of Puffium. Plus, I think what I'm going to do is add the Echo Ore 
Just there. Nice. That's a good pile of gems. Let me sort out my screenshots and stuff and get that all nice and done. And then we'll fortune it up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we had a couple of screenshots. Hopefully that will work out nicely. It's now time. Let's see. Oh, I think I want to get like a nice box to hold it all in. Hold on. Let's grab one of these. This one's empty. Oh, let's do some fortuning. So to start things off, we're going to do the bulk stuff out the back and then we're going to make our way down to these things. Let's start off with the woot to die. We select our fortune so that it is good to go. I'll just, I'll just double check. We do have, yeah, it's fully upgraded. Plus two, five fortune. Okay. Let's see how much we get. Oh my. Uh, yeah, pretty good. <laughs> okay, you can go in there. The light is fading fast, but let's do our Larimar. Oh my goodness. That is a healthy amount of Larimar. Oh, satisfying. Uh, the last one for today will do the Painite over here, I think. Beautiful. Not too much on that one, but I also didn't have that much to begin with. All right, let me sleep. Now we'll go for the Beniotite. Switch back over to my stuff here. Just confirm it is on Fortune. Beautiful. That's another healthy amount of that. God, this is satisfying. <laughs> Let's go for our Alexandra right now. Oh, seeing so many of these valuables appear is just incredible. There we go. Our black opal. A little over a stack. That is quite respectable. And now for the fun part. I'm actually going to start with the one that I'm most nervous about. A little bit unsure as to whether or not the Vein Miner edition of two works when you Vein Mine a single piece. I believe it does, but I can't be sure. Let's see how we go. We could get nothing, we could get like eight. This is the biggest scary one. I do have one gem in my storage, so I know at worst I should still be able to make one pog, but... Yes, six is very healthy. Now let's do the rest. Funzoid, only three from that. So we got one from each. Tubium, 22. Oh my. Sparkle Teen, 28. Oh my goodness. Bomb Ignite. Not as good, but nine is still healthy. Ashium. 12, 12 is good. Gorgonite, hello gorgeous. 22, you love to see it. Upaline. 17, that's quite healthy. And do us proud, Iskel. 18, very nice. That is amazing. Oh, I actually ruined it by sorting. Let's put all of these down here. So the one that actually got us the least was the Funzoid. We got more of the Puffium from one than we did from three of those. But that's okay, let's organize this, make it nice and neat. And it's time. Cross your fingers for me, folks. I would love a ridiculous amount. At least I'm hoping for eight, so that if we eventually need an Echo Pog, we have enough. Or seven, because I do have one ore in storage. Okay, double check. We are on Vein Miner. Okay. Five. Okay. Respectable. Not exactly what I wanted. I would have loved for more than that. But five from two, I cannot complain at all. God, that's satisfying. 
<laughs> like that's really satisfying. Almost as satisfying as doing this. 210, 118, 215, 150, 419. We don't even have enough room for the Beniotites. We've got six Echo. I can actually unlock these now and then lock them again and we can put all of this stuff away. That can go in there. Oh, okay. That is so satisfying. Look at all of that Beniotite and the Larimar. That is healthy, very healthy. We did get a little unlucky with some of those, but I'm sure we will get plenty more as we go along. We might even get lucky and set ourselves up with a plentiful crystal or something like that, or even just get lucky with the rolls itself. But I am stoked. I think we may make a very simple upgrade to one of these. We could just do something like that, but what do we have the most of? Actually, that is probably the one that we want to do. It's only four times base value, but that would allow me to get 2,000 into that. Let's actually check this. Ooh, I already have one. <laughs> I can buy two. Perfect. <laughs> okay, never mind. There we go. <laughs> and we've got one spare. Didn't even have to use our template. Ooh, what do you guys think? <laughs> Doesn't that look nice? All of those goodies sitting there. All of these high numbers on some of those. We really did luck out on the uh, Sparkle team. And yeah, we'll find more. I'm sure of it. I think after all of that fun and exploring, I'd like to finish this episode off with a vault just to, uh, to loosen up and get that excitement out of the way. I'm going to actually put this fortune pick in there so that it never disappears. We never have to worry about it. And I'm going to set myself up with a crystal, which I may need to go do a little bit of exploring to get that stuff. We'll do a vault to finish off the episode, maybe even get lucky and find ourselves a few more of these to put together to fortune up if we desire. I'm actually going to take 11 of those and, oh, actually 12. And pump up this sword's durability a bit. And it does have some repairs, which this one does not. Oh, I can add one more to that too. There we go. May as well make that last as long as possible before we have to switch over to one of the others. And I think this might be my last run in full netherite because now moving forward, I am going to start setting myself up with some of these. I've got a nice vault helmet there with three health. I've got a nice pair of vault leggings here, which even though they're scrappy, they have five armor. I've got a five armor chest plate here and don't know if I have boots. Not just yet anyway. So maybe we get lucky and find ourselves some boots to get set up with a full kit of armor. That'll be nice. But I'm managing okay with this and my overpowered combo. So let me get prepared and then we'll go in and do a vault. With water breathing, I'm just going to casually take on this whole monument <laughs> to get that dark bruise marine. Because, you know, why not? <laughs> and I believe... I can cleanse away the mining fatigue. It's like easy mode. <laughs> All right. Nice. <laughs> well, we got the prismarine that we needed. We've got ourselves a crystal. And there was four sponge rooms in that, uh, that monument. So we nearly got two stacks of sponges, which is amazing. I'm going to do a couple of things now. One, I'm going to grab a Paxel. Because <laughs> why not? We'll put that here with all the other sold out stuff. And I'm also tempted to get these. Because why not? There's a lot of things in this mod pack that I sit there going, mm, should I save this for later? But at the same time, I realize that I'm just keeping myself from experiencing it now. <laughs> so I can live with losing out on some of the stuff later down the line. If it means that I get to get some fun stuff right now. Oh, that's good too. Nice. We can put all of those finished ones away as well. So, put that. We'll put away our money. Pick a ring. <sighs> One day, when it happens, 
I'm going to lose it. <laughs> we'll put our vault rocks over in our ender chest and let's see what we get out of these. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, let's roll these. If we manage to get a really nice pair of boots, it could be the final thing that we need for a set of vault gear. So cross your fingers that we get something really nice. <laughs> yeah, it, not really. It has a couple of little benefits, so we can still use it, but oh well. And yeah, that's trash. <laughs> okay, let's chuck a couple of things on there. I actually think I'm going to... Okay, it won't let me. I was going to put Bane of Anthropods on there. Not today, it seems. Hmm. But we can get efficiency five. And that will do for the time being. Mm, maybe we save it. Uh, I'm going to save it. I just... Just not quite, not quite ready. Now I can get prepared. I think I'm ready. We've got my shard pouch, got my magnet, boss crate, all of my danks. Yeah, should be good to go. Let's see what kind of luck we get in this one. All right. Weakened, trapped, gilded. Oof, we'll see how we go. It could be a rush boss, this one. The fact that there's only three, uh, yeah, three monuments or three obelisks, you know what? I think that might be what we get up to. Whew. Let's move on. <laughs> Let's try and rush the boss. Ooh, crystal room though. Maybe we don't rush the boss. If we could get lucky, we might get some goodies in here. Or, you know, we may just blow up one way or another. I don't think I've opened a chest yet that hasn't been trapped, which is always fun. Hey, there we go. A little bit of luck. Oof. Worst case, we get a few things that we can uh, fortune up at the end of the episode. Ooh, nice. Oops. <laughs> Last couple of little bits, and then we should be good to move on. Uh, please stop. Ooh, nice. Even though it's the one that we have probably the most of, I'm never going to complain about getting myself some of the unique ores. Speaking of Captain Sparkles, hey. <laughs> Ooh, that was a good amount of skill essence as well. All right, uh, let's move on. Let's see whether we get some more luck. It's turning out to be a slightly better vault than I anticipated when I first saw those few modifiers, but it's still not great and I still have to be careful about stuff like that. The trapped aspect is not that nice. But we can farm a decent little supply of uh, extra shards and we might still have some decent luck. Maybe even another crystal room would be kind of incredible. We'll grab that, kill as many of these vault fighters as we can for the chance of getting some skill essence, but yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that's not too bad though. It's kind of still worth it to check those chests, even though the trapped nature is rough. <laughs> 15 minutes to go. Okay, Wild West room. This one, I really don't want some trap chests in. So I'm going to be very careful in this, just uh, to make sure. But the amount of uh, skill essence that I'm getting from these is kind of nice. No, thank you, brother. Ah, <laughs> I hate that. Honestly, not the best uh, of Wild West rooms, but I'm not really expecting the best of anything in this one, brother. So we can live with that. The doorway is stuck behind there, but there's nothing in here anyway. Let's move on. Oh, maybe we can't move on because this is the end. It is. That was a huge risk to open that just there next to all that TNT. But we can take risks. Whew. Okay. 
<laughs> Let's get out of here. After checking down here. Yeah, we should have just left. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, that was scary. Let's uh put away a bit of that. Good lord. Phew, don't scare me like that. <laughs> That's terrifying. Oh. Please, stop. I'm going to put away a couple of these goodies just so that they're safe. Safe from me throwing them out accidentally. And with just over 10 minutes left, let's check either side. No, not sure about that one. Sure. That's another obelisk. Gets us two out of three. If we could finish this off with a nice easy boss kill, that would be great. But uh, if we don't find a good room, cakey, <laughs> then I'm not going to bother. Hmm. That is an obelisk, but we're not going to take that right now. Ooh, nice. Oh, this girl, please. We'll move on to the next room. Let's see. We have some luck down there. Ooh, maybe we'll go this way. This isn't the worst room to fight a boss in. It's fairly flat, not too many obstacles in the way. So I wouldn't mind finishing up my run back there. And this is as good a spot as any to go to to continue looting. So why not? And we're actually starting to get some decent luck. Yeah, well, I spoke too soon. <laughs> of course. Oh no, the bees. They're angry at me. I'm sorry, bees. Let's just leave them. B. Oh, the music. <laughs> Let's see how much more looting we can get done before the time runs out. I'm actually a fair way away from that room that I was originally going to fight in, but I can probably make my way back there pretty simply, or we find another room along the way. Oh, <laughs> this one could be interesting with the uh, trapped modifier. Yep, but I'm going to keep trying. And I honestly don't really mind too much getting the uh, mob traps, as long as there's no creepers in there. I can use this to get a really good supply of, uh, of shards. Ooh, nice. Not nice. <laughs> it always comes in twos. Alright, with four minutes left, I'm going to dump this stuff into there. Swap that out. And we're going to try and work out where we are. Not that way. That way doesn't look any good either. I believe this is where I came from. So we might go back there. Just to make sure that we get the obelisk. And just take on the boss and get out. This isn't the way that I came from. It's a lie. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Interesting. Bottle don't waste time. We're going to step it up a little bit with some speed, some candy bars, and make our way around a little. Obelisk? Eh, there's one. Don't really want to fight something here though. So, was it this way? Have I not been in here before? <laughs> Where am I? I may have made a terrible mistake. No, nope, we can make this happen. Let's switch out here, get ourselves that. Give ourselves some temporary hearts, kill the few guys that are around here, and with one minute left. Yeah, easy. Barely getting touched. Now, where did that box drop? I do have the second crate, that's nice. Grab all of this while I'm here. All that too. Ah, okay. Not too shabby. So, we can turn off that magnet, and this is where I would really like the draw controller. So that I could just double click on it and everything gets sorted in. But for now, it'll have to do. Let's see what we got. We also got up to 582, not bad. I'll save it and see what we get next time. Which one's which? Okay, that one's mine. We did get a couple of the unique ores, which is good. I'm just going to put that over in this ore chest for later. And, oh, that's our uh, our additional boss crate. Marble, okay. Well, let's take all of that out. I can't put the, uh, the kiwi fruit away yet. 
because it won't let me uh, actually use it. We got another Vault Rock Trader, which is really nice. It means I don't have to go searching for some down low. Put all that away. This can actually stack up over with those. Oh, I gotta stop doing that when those are in there. And now it's just our general stuff. That, 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 that. The apples can go up here and the additional potions. Okay, nice. Okay. Got another set of boots. I think I might already have them. So that's the third set of that I've got. Unfortunately, Pickerang. <sighs> One day. One day I will. <laughs> and let's roll these swords. Maybe another nice leech. Ooh. Ooh. An upgraded leech. That will be quite lovely. The attack is actually a little bit lower. But we can keep that as a spare. Ooh, that is amazing. Leech 3 combined with this, we could have 5% leech. Oh, okay. Now we can check. Yeah, that was that was pretty trash. <laughs> we can check the danks. So, ooh, 35 star essence is amazing. A healthy supply of everything else. But trying to remember where everything was and spamming it in is the hard part. Uh, there we go. In the vault food. A good supply of burger parts and extras of everything else. Blah, 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 blah. Nope. Very nice. We got a good supply of just normal vault ores, which I'm actually going to save since we got so many here already. And a nice, healthy little supply of these extra gems as well. Nice. 520 Beniatite. Oof, that's good. So we're on our way to our next knowledge star. We actually already have another skill point, and I think I'm going to put that into haste when I get there. I want to up the amount of haste that I have, just so that I can mine things a little bit faster in the vaults. This stuff away in there, that can go in there, and these still have a little bit to go. So I'll cycle those through in between episodes. But with that, I think we're going to call it an episode here. I am really happy with how many of these we got we have enough to technically make three pogs, but we did get quite unlucky with the Funzoid, and we got a decent amount of the Puffium. Everything else is quite healthy, some of it really healthy, and I'm still pretty happy with that. I cannot complain. We've now got ourselves this little area down here. We've got ourselves a nice doctor's office up here. I don't know why I feel like it's uh, it should be called a doctor's office, but it just seems right. Or a nurse's office. I haven't used a potion for multiple, multiple vaults because of the combo that I've got. And we just got a backup sword. That's kind of unreal. The damage will be slightly lower, but even still. It doesn't have any levels on it though, which is the only downside. We've got a Paxil, which I might continue to add some uh, enchantments to. We'll put Silk Touch on that as well. And the best part about this episode, Fortune 5. We are fortunate. In fact, I'm going to rename this what I tend to name most of my fortune pickaxes. Fortune's Favor. Nice. Mending 2. Absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> All right, everyone. Like I said, I filmed this a little bit earlier than I was intending, so I haven't picked my uh, Patreon supporter yet for that statue. But uh, that should be done by the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I would like to thank my Patreon supporters for the continued support. I really appreciate you guys so much. And all of you who are watching, I hope you had a good time. If you did enjoy the video, I'd really appreciate if you left a like. Helps me grow, helps people see the video more. It's just helpful in general. And uh, let me know what you're thinking of the series. I do have plans for looking for a place to do a bigger base. <laughs> something a little bit more incredible. So give me an idea of what kind of base you would maybe like me to build. I've got some ideas of my own, but I'd love to hear what you guys think. And also maybe a biome or a particular type of landscape you'd like to see nearby would be cool. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you take care of yourself until the next episode. And yeah, I'll see you then. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Uh, whoop!